just on my way out and then I saw the news online coming from Fabrizio and every other news outlet out there on Twitter. Morgan Rogers has finally signed for Villa. Um, obviously, there's been an agreement with both clubs, us and Middlesbrough, but we're just waiting on that um, medical in the next 24 hours. But I am just so happy he's gone through now. He's one of them. We, I think we all knew that it was definitely going to happen, but it was just, we're coming so close to the end of the transfer window. It could have easily have just sort of faded off, but I'm just really happy we've, we've finally sorted it. And, you know, Emery's been chasing this player for how long now? He's obviously the top priority for this transfer window. Um, and, you know, when a manager like Unai Emery's on you up and all that, you must be a top quality talent. And we've found that in the last few days, he is a Villa fan. So I'm just so thrilled that we've got him through. I'm not too sure about the, the sum of money we paid. Um, and as, as you know, obviously, if there is any Middlesbrough fans watching this channel, there is a good... Um, how can I say? There's a there's a good vibe between us and, and Middlesbrough because obviously in the past we've we've loaned uh Aaron Ramsey, Cameron Archer, and so on out to them. Uh, Finnezaz has obviously signed on with them this season, which I thought a great signing for how much money he cost. Um, yeah, there's a there's a good understanding between both clubs, but you know just talking about Rogers, he's a great attacking outlet and a great option for us to be using. And I think he'll be one of them players because he's so young. He will just mould into our squad and just become that starter for every game. And um, we know how Villa fans play when they when they play for Villa. You know, you've got Jacob Ramsey, you've got Jack Grealish in the past and so on. You know, it's just that bit more effort in the, in their play, which I'm just really happy that we're going through the door. But, um, you know, we haven't really spoke about the transfer window on the channel because there hasn't really been much going on. You know, there's been a... Hell of a lot of links, but you can't really trust them all. But I just wanted to get my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, it has been underwhelming. This We all know that. It has been underwhelming. But it's not just us, to be fair. I mean, everyone's suffering from this sort of like FFP thing that's going on right now. Except for Man City, because they just, you know, they'll sign anyone they want right now. Um, but where I'm a bit, I'm a bit, how can I say, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm just a bit, I just have a few questions on it. Like, you know, we've, we've, Loaned out Leander Dendonka to Napoli. And I think Emery's come out and said that Iraq Buna will be the backup for Kamara. Which I, I'm i okay with. I, I'm not too sure if he's better than Leander. But, you know, we'll know. Because I am only say because we haven't really seen much of Tim Iraq Buna, to be fair. So, hopefully he does prove me wrong. Um, and, you know, there's some other areas on the pitch. Obviously, Duran's out injured right now. Another player that was heavily linked to like Chelsea and Inter Milan. Um, but what I do like that Emery's come out and said that Zaniola will be the backup striker for Wally Watkins, which, you know, it's not like we've been playing him in his preferred position. So hopefully this will be the making of Zaniola at Villa because there is a, an option to buy coming into the season. There's no point criticising him now because we're not, you know, obviously we're halfway through, but there's so much football still yet to play. So, you know, I think there's definitely a player there. And if we are playing him in his position now, I do believe we will get the best out of Zanio, and I think he will be banging the goals in. So yeah, we just need to, we just need to back him up a bit. But yeah, talking about Rogers, absolutely thrilled with it. Um, not hundred percent sure how much we paid, but you know, I know there was a few Middlesbrough fans on YouTube saying, you know, if it was like twelve or so million, definitely sell him to Villa and everything. Which you know is fair enough. There's good understanding with us and Middlesbrough. Um, with all the other signings that we've made to each other. And yeah, if there is, if there is any Middlesbrough fans watching, let me know in the comment section what you think about this one. You know, I'm absolutely thrilled because, you know, it's one for the future, ain't it? You know, in the next few seasons, I'm sure he will be a star at Villa. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Up to Villa, the pride of Villa. We'll see you in the next video.